Hey guys! So as promised, we're here to do the second video on this Monday Doubleheader, another band from the US. These guys are from Pennsylvania, the great state that's given us outlet malls with no taxes on their clothing. I love that. We used to go there quite a bit. Yeah. But now the exchange rate is absolutely killing us. So now we don't because it's not worth it anymore. Even if you don't pay taxes, you're, you're yeah. losing so much on the exchange rate, we don't go there anymore. Anyways, the name of the band is Frost Giants. And the name of the song is Prisoner of the Past. And this looks like a claymation video. It looks like the Sepultura. Sepultura. Hata Mahata. Yeah. Yeah. It looks... That's what it reminded me of right away. Yeah, it looks something like that. So, these guys, I believe, are like melodic death metal, folk metal, some hardcore. There's like a bunch of different influences. Mm -hmm. According to Metal Encyclopedia, which yeah. is my go-to source of knowledge before we do these thought, videos. Thought, thought, then, uh... Yeah, or if it says uh, place of origin, question mark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've seen that. All right, so are you ready to check out these guys from Frost Giant? All right, let's do this. By the way, I believe these guys played with Insomnium when Insomnium was touring in the when Insomnium was touring in the US, when Insomnium played a gig uh, around where they're from and they were one of the opening bands for Insomnium. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Give yeah. them a shout out. It's not every day that your band gets to play on the same stage as Insomnium. All right, you ready? Yeah.
So, before you talk about the music, I, I love the reference in the video to the 18 car, like the 18 van, the GMC 18. You don't know that show, it was a show that was popular. No, I know, I know. Oh, you, know you know the 18? B.A. Baracus used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the, the, the van, the GMC van uh, from B.A. Baracus. A anyways, I, I thought that was kind of cool that they gave, uh, in, you know, incorporated. Incorporate that in the video. Now, the van did not have winter tires because you can see once they cross into Canada and into the North Pole, the van was just going sideways on the snow. Yeah. So definitely, definitely, if you're coming to Canada on tour, you want to wear winter tires on your. You want to insert winter or put them on, whatever you call it, whatever you say. You yeah. want to put winter tires on your vans because you know you'll be driving sideways. Anyways, I just want to say that before we get started on the music. But what did you think of the, the song? Uh, well, I gotta say, to, to be real, I was like, for sure, I was in and out with the music because I was trying to pay attention to, it's hard to pay attention to both because the video was so weird. The video was super weird. They were just like <laughs> stabbing each other. The guy at the end ended up killing himself. He did yeah. Harakiri. He just stabbed yeah. himself. Like, why? You're the only guy left. You have the sword. Well, he wasn't the only guy left. It was that guy with the mustache and the trainer suit that just drew the... Uh, drew I know, the but thing. I don't think he was with them at the beginning. He just showed up at the end, which begs the question, how the hell do you just show up in the North Pole out of nowhere? Out of nowhere? Well, then again... And then how you get on a car that's sideways and you still manage to drive the car out of the snow and... Also, off. how did those two guys get on the on the roof of that thing? Like, how many people... I don't remember how many people went in there and he killed... Didn't the guy with the sword kill, like, two of them? Yeah, well, one like went with his face into the and his <laughs> eyes. The, the, the clay animation video was. I, I was having the same problem. I, I really enjoyed the video, but yeah. I was having a hard time concentrating on the music because the video is really, you know, it, it, it had my attention. The video itself had my attention, yeah. like because it was so much weird stuff going on. He killed and, like two guys, and there was like five of them. And then he killed no, but two. then then the abominable snowman or whatever the hell that creature was. He's giving the people's elbow. Did you see them? He, he knocked the guy down and then he's giving them like the people's elbow. I thought he was going to do the side to side thing yeah. and then give the people's elbow. There were five that were in there. Two of them died to the one guy. Uh, three came out. Three came out. The beast killed two. The, but the beast the beast ate all three that he knocked out. Then how the hell did two guys go on the roof and, and they killed him with the guitar? I was, I was wondering that the whole time. I'm like, oh, that, that was strange. But the song. The song was really good. Uh, the, the, for the parts I heard. Uh, for the like, parts I heard? What do you mean? Like, I was zoning you heard out. the whole thing. I was zoning out. I'm like, what the hell is happening? Why is the guy standing Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're, you, at, at certain parts, you almost forget about the song. And yeah. you're just like completely focused on the video. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't think a song has ever done that to me. Not even a Necrogoblicon song has done that to me. Where you completely zone out the song because the video <laughs> is just so strange? Wow, indeed. I don't think that's ever happened. Uh, I'll say this. The, the song had a lot of folk influences to it. There, there was a lot of folk sound to it. I, I, I like the heaviness of the song. I like the folk influences. But what I really like is that clean uh, vocals in the it. chorus. I, heard, I yeah, really I like that. that. Because the song, the, the, the harshness of the song, the song was heavy, had, a, had a harsh vocals around it. And then you, you had some melody from those folk instruments that give that folky vibe to it. But it needed something more. It needed something to, to kind of break the fluidity of the song. Something, you know, to just kind of give you a jolt and kind of like wake you up uh, from, from, from the song itself. Like it needed something to, to kind of create a divide, if you will. So putting, putting the clean vocals in the chorus, to me, did it. Because they were very melodic, they were, they they were, were very cool, I really enjoyed that. So that kind of gave the song a different, a completely different dynamic. But I'm with you, I was so engulfed in the freaking video, that I was really, <laughs> like, I had to constantly remind myself, okay, no, you gotta listen to the song, listen to the song, and, and then, then something would happen, happen, and I was like, stomach. oh, what the fuck, why does he have a stomach, like, why does he have a mouth on his stomach? I don't know, it's just a creature, whatever. What the hell? Like, what are you, like, an art critic now? Like, who cares? Anyways. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was different. No, it was. That was definitely different. Not like, see, even Hata Mahata from Sepultura. I mean, I had seen the video already, but you, you were watching the video, but you were listening to the music. Yeah. But this one was so strange that it really, you know, captivated you yeah. in a different way. All right, guys. This is it for today. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos, more songs, more laughs, more of the two of us. See you guys. See ya.